All right, so we are uh, still over here at this uh, lay down bunker. Uh, gonna start walking further down. Um, I've cut a path through here. Probably can't see it very well. It's a lot better in person. Uh, and then another path that comes through here. Down here is still a bit bushy. I'm gonna try to chop that up a little bit more. Try to give a better running path. Um, once again, you know, this just looks like really solid brush. Um, I have cut out several ambush spots. This right here is a bunker that was already laying here. Uh, I might use it. Um, once again, it kind of gives cover for the people that are on the upside. And that's not really what I'm going for because they already have so much of an advantage. But anyway, as you're coming down, you know, that was that starting area. So, as you're coming down, it doesn't really look like much. And then you get right over here. And, uh, boom. Open path. And, uh, you know, if this bunker is up, this would... I might actually put this bunker right here, there. And it would give the people coming up a little bit better coverage from the rest while they're trying to duck in. Anyway, um, so this is a completely chopped out path. Got really good walkability. And you got a lay down sniping spot right here. Um, you'd also crouch it if you wanted. Uh, this is the section that's uh, the middle where I said there's a bit of a marsh. Um, right through there is uh, you know the entire area that's up top. Let me see if I, you know, there's that bunker that you can shoot through that's up top. Um, if I could ch chop it right over here, you know, you can kind of stand up and push the brush out of the way. And you got uh, that double-sided uh, lay-down bunker section that I showed you. And then uh, the open section from where they begin. Um, so it's got pretty good view, uh, pretty good coverage. As I showed you before I even walked over here, it really doesn't look like there's anything here. Anybody laying in this, I think, is going to be pretty well protected. Uh, there's not actually any solid, solid cover, but uh, it's really good brush. So anybody with camo, I mean, if you come out here with your, your speedball clothes, you're probably going to get torn up. But camo, you're going to do pretty well. Um, I wanted this guy to have uh, two ways out. So, you know, the way that we just came in is one way. And then uh, this is that other walkthrough. Uh, I had zoomed in on it earlier when I was up top. And I'd said, uh, you know, it doesn't look like much, but there actually is a path through. And sure as shit, here it is. So you would be able to come straight out. Uh, this would leave you really open for anybody that's up here. But I think most of these people would probably be concentrating on a different direction. Uh, and on purpose, I did not give them any sort of uh, cover that's facing this way. Um, so, you know, you can't have both sides, buddies. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, this is that center section. That is a really nasty marsh. I will be goddamned if you if I would ever run through that shit. I'm gonna try to bushwhack it a bit and take out these little tiny trees that are sitting here, um, and then try to fill it. But uh, for right now, this is gonna be your path. It's not very nice. When you get up, you know that's that nest bunker right there um, that I showed you in the beginning. Um, so you could cut through here if you wanted. I'm going to take this way up here, which goes behind that nest. And then right here at that lay down that I told you about. Um, as you're coming down, there's that nest as I said. Um, I carve a nice little path that walks down there. Or somebody adventurous could jump down this. Um, see crazy people all the time, so <laughs> I'm really not going to count it out. Uh, it's really marshy, as I said. Uh, I've been hacking down a bunch of trees and shit up there. And that's going to leave this section. Uh, yeah, it's so marsh, I'm just going to try to shove all that stuff that I chopped down in it. Um, it's not 100% perfect, but it's definitely going to keep you from sinking. Uh, and I know somebody out there is going to be, oh my god, I love the marsh sections. But uh, I mean, nobody likes to run through the goddamn mud, and I sure as shit don't like to. Uh, so anyway, this is uh, their way down, or way up, if you're playing uh, the other side. Um, it's pretty well covered. Um, if you were really fast, you might be able to get up here and surprise that guy in the nest. Maybe. Uh, I'm not sure if I would risk it. And then you have that lay down section right up there. 
um, which would be looking down on you. But you got this little bit of cover. Uh, I might thicken this up, uh, add some cloth and stuff like that to uh, aid in people trying to get up. As we come down, um, this is the beginning section, again, for that team, that first team that we started at. Um, so they would be able to run just straight through this clear path. Once again, a little bit of a swamp. And then up. Uh, over there, we've got that run-up section to the uh, to the little nest. Um, I'm just going to walk over to the marsh that I've been covering up. Oh, shit. So as you can see, um, you'll be able to run up this. And that's going to take you right up the center of the field. It's going to leave you pretty open. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to do for these poor bastards. They're going to try to run up it. Um, for right now, I think it's probably just going to be an open spot that people are going to have to run across rather than up. But, uh, you know, I mean, I welcome you to uh, attempting it. Really heavy brush cover. Um, you know, this is the way that the beginning people would get up it or get to it. Um, as you can see, it is really mushy, but you don't sink because uh, you got the brush there. But it's definitely wet. Um, I know that's kind of the point of Woods Bowl. Uh, it's not exactly clean. <laughs> I mean, anybody that's going to come out here, I really suggest you wear clothes that you don't give a shit about. But anyway, uh, so we've got this section up here. Like I said, I've been cutting through it. Um, you got a little bit of a lay down here, or a crouch. Uh, it will give you the ability to look down on where the beginning area is. For anybody that you know starts at the top and runs down here, uh, I don't think anybody's going to make it over here fast enough to uh, make a huge difference. But there's some fast guys out there, so I'm not going to count it out. As I'm coming up, so I got some of the tools I'm using. Um, we get to this. This is another way down or up, depending on how you look at it, to the beginning section. Um, as you come through, right down here, you know, if you are going right straight through there, that's where the beginning is. So those beginning guys will still have good coverage. Um, a lot of bushes, I don't think you'd see too many people if you did. No way in shit you're getting a paintball through it unless you're really, really lucky. Um, so, anyway, let's assume that we're starting here and we're coming up this hill. It's not too bad. Um, I trimmed it way down to try to make it a lot easier to, uh, to maneuver up. It's a little bit steep right here. Um, I'm probably going to dig that out. Uh, this section right here, I think I'm going to chop a little path and give some sort of ambush point to, uh, to these guys. So let's try to get up the hill there. There we go. Uh, there's a bunker right here right now. This thing's absolutely useless, being that uh, you're not going to actually be able to get anywhere going down here. This entire section is going to be, you know, maybe somebody wants to drop back and ambush somebody, but really, uh, I, I don't see why. Um, I'm going to leave this here anyway, so that anybody that's coming up this path right here, you know, they could hop up here. They look this way, they say, motherfucker, there's somebody over there. They've at least got that to run to. I might even put one here um, for when they first come out. Um, and you know, we've come back around. Uh, once again, this is that laid down one uh, that had the cover that went in there. Um, but there's actually another one right here. I know I'm running up on the 10 minute mark again. And I'd really rather not have a part four. So I'm just going to quickly show you this. Lay down cover. Big time. Uh, it's 360 degree cover. Except for anybody that's walking in. You got big time shit that you could look down here. Catch anybody that's coming up the sides. Anybody that's running up there. Anybody that's coming up the middle. And you got a straight through shot on the people up top. On that bunker right there. Once again, I'm Adam, this is the Grendel Woods Ball uh, Fork, and uh, I hope to see you here soon. Bye.